Mike Perlman here in the gambling capital of the world, giving you the best coverage of CTIA 2010. We're going to head on down to the show floor and check out what T-Mobile has to offer. Stay tuned. We have the HD2, which we've just announced for T-Mobile. Um, this is very similar to the HD2 that we launched in Europe last year. So very large screen, Windows mobile phone. Um, one of the great things that T-Mobile has done is they've created a lot of content partnerships that really let you take advantage of this huge screen and this really smooth experience. So in addition to all of the, the HTC Sense features that we had before, now we've got things like Blockbuster Video, which lets you instantly start streaming movies over the web. Um, so you can watch movies on here. Uh, you can read books from the Barnes & Noble application. You can watch TV from Mobi TV. It also comes with um, both Transformers 1 and Transformers 2 on the memory card. So if you need a movie to watch right now and you don't have a Blockbuster membership yet, you have something right on the card to start with. <laughs> That's right. Megan Fox is waiting for you. <laughs> she and the Autobots are coming to uh, your phone. Hi, this is the new Nokia Neuron for T-Mobile. This is an exclusive device for T-Mobile. It's a white case device. And the most exciting feature of this device is not only the maps, but also the social media attached to the maps. With this device, we, um, we have the latest um, Nokia maps that are completely free. Uh, and includes all type of navigation, pedestrian and driving navigation. And with this device, you can also um, video or sharing your location using your Facebook account and any other type of uh, social media. This device is all about the Nokia maps and how we have integrated the social media aspects of our maps solution, the OV store. In that store, you can browse the different applications that we have created for our consumers and uh, provide reviews and download content and so on. The Quick XT, which is the, the touch tablet, uh, one unique feature on this is the swipe keyboard. Um, if I go into messaging, you, by clicking here, you can choose the input method, swipe keypad. Using the swipe there, you can type in whatever you like. 